it, but I think, I don't know, is OnlyFans a huge portion of the world, though? Let's be honest. Is it really that? Hold on. How big is Only Chat, how big is OnlyFans, bro? Because if we being honest. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, never mind. Okay, OnlyFans is actually pretty big. Over 210 million registered users. Chat, there's 335 million niggas. Average age? Oh, that's actually a good, yeah, average age. I bet it's like, I bet, okay, chat. I bet the niggas that have OnlyFans are old heads, nigga. They're old heads. It's not Gen Z. It's not us that are the problem. It's not us. It's all you horny old niggas. You horny f niggas. You horny bitch ass niggas. It's not us. It's you old ass niggas. It's old niggas fucking it up. Bro, go to Instagram, bro. And you gonna see old niggas, bro. Say the most insane shit to these IG models, bro. I have looked at an IG model's DMs, nigga, and I can tell you these niggas are weird. They are weird! Nigga, yes! I look at all the old niggas' comments, bro. And they always be on their freaky shit. Niggas talking about they gonna inhale the fart out some girl's ass. Uck, uh, y'all ass gotta chill, twin! Old niggas, I don't know what old niggas... Chat, but y'all don't know about this. See, this is something that the old niggas don't wanna tell y'all niggas, bro. Them old niggas used to go to them freak league parties, nigga. Them freak neek? Hold on. Let me make sure I can look this up for y'all niggas. Freak Neek. Freak Neek parties. Y'all niggas don't know about this shit. Look at this. Look at this. Freak Neek, nigga. This is Freak Neek. They don't want to tell y'all what these niggas was doing at Freak Neek. They don't want to tell y'all. This is why these old niggas is so horny. Because they not doing the same shit like this no more, bro. They was going to these parties down in Atlanta. Cracking these hoes, nigga. Blaming they in the middle of a party, bro. Shit, bro. That's why these old niggas is on this demon timing, bro. You old niggas gotta stop. Uh, your ass gotta chill. Put down the lotion and the Vaseline, nigga. Hit some push-ups, goddamn. A lot of these niggas, bro. And that's the honest thing. And see, this is like we we grew up with social media and we growing up with all this like explicit ass content. So we're sensitized to it. You feel me? So we're not gonna be as on edge when we see a butt pic. You feel me? Like on some real shit. Hey, it was one thing my pops told me, nigga. He said before you go f the girl, bro. Beat your d man. Beat your goddamn d Before you decide to go crack, before you decide to send that text, let go of that bull shit. Let go of that bull It can save you a lot. post nut clarity is a thing, my nigga. After you bust that nut, you start thinking like, nigga, hold on, bro. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> am I really gonna send this bitch a dick pic? Am I really gonna go over there and crack this bitch raw? Am I really gonna risk it for the biscuit? Am I really just gonna bust inside her because I don't have any rubbers? Am I really gonna drive two hours to get some coochie and come back, sit there and think about why did I just do that? Am I really gonna cheat on my girlfriend because I'm horny? Am I really gonna do some out of pocket shit? <laughs> Beating your d doesn't make you fucking weak, alright? Shit! I don't know why niggas think that, bruh. There's plenty of high tier niggas that beat their d. You make me bad. Me There's a lot of positives from seeing retention. Yes, most definitely. The energy you get, the testosterone boost. You know what I'm saying? All that extra shit. The, the just focus. Yes, I've done it and I still do it. But I'm not gonna sit here and act like uh, being a dick is a terrible thing. I don't know why everyone thinks masturbating is horrible. God damn. I'm not gonna act like I'm not a human, nigga. I don't know why niggas. Why do niggas do that? Why have niggas going on? I used to think the same way. If you touch yourself, you're a terrible person. You're, you're mentally weak. Or you're not strong enough. No, nigga. I'm not going to sit here. Look, look. This is the thing, bro. I'm not going to sit here, nigga, and call a nigga weak because he decided to beat his... Shit! Do you know how insane that is, nigga? Let's give it a B. Because you busted a nut, nigga. You're weak. But once again, you have to... Everything has to be self-controlled, bro. But I'm not gonna call a nigga, you know, weak because he decided to beat his d I'm not gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? Cause I used to think that I used to think the same way. I used to call niggas weak ass niggas. And then when it dawned upon me, nigga, that I'm horny as shit. I have no bitches on speed down, and I'm for sure not downloading Tinder, nigga. Tinder can kiss my ass, nigga. I'm not downloading these dating apps. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I view sex, sex is like very, it, it can be very, you know, spiritual type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get too many things tangled up, you feel me? I think like. We let too many niggas, bruh, get on the internet and fucking yap. Too many bitch ass niggas on the internet yapping now, bro. That's annoying. Shut the fuck up, nigga. God damn.
If you're not over six feet, you're like, nigga, we have too many yapping ass niggas, bro. All these yapping ass fucking podcast bitch ass niggas need to shut the fuck up, bro. Please, shut the fuck up. It's so fucking annoying. What are you niggas talking about? These niggas trying to emulate lives that they're not living. That's the thing, bro. And this is the thing, and this is what I realized. I'm like, nigga, I'm over here spewing out bullshit. Saying, talking this shit like I'm doing this shit when I'm not, nigga. I was like, Pops. Should I, uh, just wait till I get my money up to try talking to women? Should I just wait to get my bread up type shit? And, I ain't gonna lie, he said something to me that hit very... This is why I think... Yo, Pops is crazy? How? How's that? I think this is why I think every man... And why it's important to have a father figure, bro. Because they can help put shit into perspective, you feel me? Because men make a lot of sacrifices, believe it or not. My dad, right? He said, no. Don't wait. He said, still be focused on the shit that you're doing, you feel me? But... You shouldn't wait till you step into money to decide, okay, I want to go have, you know, a female accomplice or, you know, a girlfriend. His reason being, he was like, because when you guys were born, he's talking about me and my brother, you feel me? He's like, when you and your brother were born, you feel me? I had a choice to go all the way in into my own business and miss, miss out on certain events in you guys' life. Or I could say, fuck all that and be more in you guys' life and be the father that I wanted to be. And guess what he chose? He said... I'm going to be the father that I want to be in your life, man. And then that shit hit me. He said, imagine if I had just waited till I got my money up. Till I got everything set to be in y'all, be in y'all lives. He said, we wouldn't be as close as we are now. And the thing is, he's not lying. He was like, there came a point where I was missing, you know, you know, missing out, like, school events. Um, I couldn't play with y'all in the backyard, you feel me? I couldn't teach y'all how to play sports because I wasn't home. I was always at work trying to get this bread, trying to hustle and shit, you feel me? And my pops was like, if I had decided to take that route to wait to get my money up, you feel me? You wouldn't be the man that you are today. We wouldn't be as close as we are today. And that shit hit me. I'm like, damn, pops. You're right. You are right. You feel me? And then that made me realize, like, shit, maybe the women that I have interest in, bro, it's just my fault. I'm looking at the women that high end, high class and shit, you feel me? I got the lifestyle right now, you feel me? Why? Who gon' get hit in that shit? Who gon' get hit in that shit? Fuck a powder and beat, niggas know it's me. Yeah, tell it to totally Lee. Break shit, break shit. Call me a necklace. My niggas is reckless. Red card, blue card.